targeted. Uh, was um, how, how did you assign or who assigned you to the RPM? David Miscavige. David Miscavige. And yeah. so on. Yes. For what reason? Because I wouldn't go along with his plan to get rid of Pat Nanny Broker. And um, I refuse to do it. I refuse to uh, be a part of it. I, I refuse to have anything to do with it. So he said, okay, I'm going to have to get you too. And how, how are you saying this to you? Are you saying oh, yes. you have to go now to the RPM? Yes. I, I will well, you know, there was a lot of people in the room. They woke me up at 5 o'clock in the morning. You know, they love this element of surprise. And by the time I had come to the room, they had already gotten Vicki Azarin, who was supposed to be, quote, unquote, the number one person in all of Scientology. And she was sitting in the corner crying and shaking miserably because, they, you know, all of these men had screamed at her, pushed her around, and, and she was very afraid. And then I came in the room, and he says, well, it's over now. You had a chance. You made the wrong choice. And you're going to the RPF. And, uh, and he, he told me, you call me sir. I'll, I'll never forget it. And I looked at him. I was sitting across the desk. He said, say it, say it, say it. And I got up and I said, fuck you. And I walked out of the room, at which point people tried to grab me. But I had karate training and I knocked them together and they backed off, at which point I ran to my room and got a rifle, uh, a semi-automatic uh, rifle that I had gotten from L. Ron Hubbard because everyone had rifles, semi-automatic, fully automatic rifles, and a forty-five. And I came back and I said, what do you want to do now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I ran to my room because my bedroom was I don't, I don't not very far. I don't know, like maybe ten, uh, uh, twenty yards away from his office because we all lived his close. Ship? This is then. Now you know. I don't, was it then? Yeah. I'm explaining to you. Yeah, near the ship. There's the ship. Then there was all of our bedrooms up on the hill. Miscavige's bedroom was here. Mark Yeager's bedroom was here. The apartments. The yeah, the little yeah. apartments, yeah. And then mine was here. I was in the same complex as his. See them from the street? Yes. The yeah. There's grapevines over, mm -hmm. and you can see this. So that's where I live. And then even further up in that row of apartments was his office. And he slept all the time at that house? Yeah. Yeah. We all did. His wife? Yeah. And you also on that ground? Yeah. We all did. So you came back to his office with your rifle in the hand? Yeah. And then? What you and, the, and I said, what do you want to do now? We've leveled the playing field. Because there were so many of them and just one of me. Mm -hmm. And then um, he said, well, you know, we have guns too. I said, yeah, but you will be the first to die if I shoot. <laughs> so 